So the Summer Wien Lock Challenge commences and yes, I did manage to actually get sick. I lit not talking about books right now. I literally had to leave work yesterday and go home and then I just slept. And I'm still home sick, home from work. And I'm a little annoyed because I literally only have one work week left before I go on summer vacation. I'm like, I don't have time to be sick, but on happier notes. Um, this is not about me chatting about missing work. This is about me talking about books. So yesterday's video, um, I talked about participating in Summerween and today is when I start and since I'm not at work, <laughs> for obvious reasons, I am starting. And like I said, mm, I'm gonna start with Grady Hendrix's Horster, which is a haunted house mystery that takes place in an Ikea light superstore called Orsk. And yeah, I'm starting with it because it feels, I mean, physically it's light and if I fall asleep <laughs> reading it, which is potentially going to happen because fever, um, it's harder to smack yourself in the face with a paperback and hardcover. So I'm very grateful right now that all the books I've picked out are paperbacks. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna start with Horstor, Horster, however you pronounce it. And <sighs> hopefully I'm gonna feel a little better later today. So, ah. so first update, I'm quite a ways in. I want to show you what I finally figured out with the chapters because they have you know, the numbers and the name of a furniture item and um, yeah. it's like this, like chapter 5 and I've been reading these chapter, you know, this little information onto the furniture I didn't clock until a little while in. Every single one of the item numbers has the triple six in it. <laughs> Except for like uh, two that have just Orsk. Because bad puns. <laughs> I'm currently on chapter 13. Um, this is a very easy book to read. It's very quick. Um, I'm having to take a little breaks from now on. Now and again, because my brain needs a little rest now and then. Excuse me. I really should take a nap, but... Um, this is definitely a fun haunted house type of story. It does have like... Um, ooh. It does have elements of like an Indian burial ground trope, but without the Indian burial ground. Um, I have no idea what I'm saying, but it does like feature um, the store being built on the remains of something else that came before that is informing on what is happening now. And we have been a few gruesome bits, but like nothing too much and i'm speaking as someone who is an absolute coward when it comes to horror movies so right so i end up taking a nap and slept for a couple of hours <laughs> honestly it's to be expected but hey that's blah um i did manage to finish a book which i am i am really happy about so yeah I really liked this book. It was fun. It was suitably dark. It's really well written too. Like descriptions of the environment and things are happening. Like there's nothing surprising in a sense about this book, about the story. Like you pretty much know what's going to happen. Um, 
and it's so well written. It's, 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 yeah, I liked it. Um, but it does leave me wondering, because I didn't feel scared. I was just very, very entertained. Maybe it's just because I'm sick, I don't know. But I was so, so entertained and reading about all the Ikea light things, about all the... Just, just, oh. Uh. Um, the main character is named Amy. The second main character is named Basil. Then we have Ruth Anne and Trinity and Matt. Um, Ruth Anne, honestly, was my favorite character. So, you know what her end is. <laughs> Spoiler. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really liked it. It's... But again, I am an absolute novice when it comes to reading horror, so I don't really know how... Mm. How much weight there is in me recommending books, because I... Wow, I'm... Bleh. Should have taken long enough. <laughs> but yeah, I... I really, really like this book. Definitely four star. I mm, still think that the star system... Star system? The system of giving stars is rather confusing. Tangent, I'm sorry. But like, you know the people who go around saying, I only ever give five stars and if I don't like a book, I just don't review with them, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, why? If you only give five stars and you're not being very honest and you're being really rather over the top. So, mm, I, mm. so I really like it. It's not five star because five stars for me are rather rare but i would definitely recommend it this, this would be hilarious to read in ikea like that would be i would watch that <laughs> but yeah like i said this like even someone who is sick and is sleeping rather a lot this is an easy read it's a fast paced it's not a long either it's like 200 about 240 pages and like It's very, very well set up. And yeah. So the next book, I don't know if I'm gonna start it tonight. But the next one I want to read is Samantha Allen's Patricia Wants to Cuddle. I'm starting to think that Patricia is some kind of creature. That has to be fur. Right? It has to be fur. But yeah, I'm gonna call this vlog here. And I will see what I can do tomorrow. <laughs> we'll see how far along I get with this book. So, see you tomorrow.